Venom Prison isn't brutal enough for me, bro. And why is that? Because they have a logo you can actually read. Reading isn't brutal. Their first album depicts a rapist getting his junk cut off and fed to him. That's... That's actually pretty brutal. Greetings hard and heavy music fans, I'm Dante with the Heavy Haystack, and today I'm talking about the new album from Venom Prison titled Prime Evil. Welsh death metal artist Venom Prison has been a fast rising name in the extreme music scene. First coming to popular attention with their 2016 album Animus, they grew their infamy more with last year's Samsara, which made my top 10 albums of 2019 list. While mixing the genres of death metal, grindcore, and hardcore is nothing new in extreme music, Venom Prison hang their hats on quality of execution, taking the best elements of all these genres and focusing it into an immediate and visceral sonic assault that's drawn comparisons to the likes of Napalm Death and Carcass. Upon learning about this new album Primeval, I was pretty shocked that the band had another full record so soon after releasing one last year, but that's because this album really isn't that new. This album mostly consists of tracks from the band's two EPs from 2015, Defy the Tyrant and The Primal Chaos, along with two brand new songs. The re-recorded songs are brought up to the same production quality as the band's previous two albums, making the instrumentation much clearer and bringing the vocals more to the forefront, all while keeping the same raw aggression the original recordings held. Listening to the re-recorded songs, you can see why the band was snatched up so quickly by Prosthetic Records. The band showed proficiency for hardcore-infused death metal from the get-go, with opening tracks like Usurper of the Throne and Life Suffer, showcasing thrashy death metal with hardcore sense of groove and breakdowns, but done in a way that's much more dynamic and creative than what you see from a lot of deathcore bands who are known for blending the same genres. Mortal Abominations show that the band can slow things down and be atmospheric, which adds some nice dynamics to their extreme metal sound. Songs from the band's latter EP like Babylon the Whore and Damon Vulgaris show that the band could write hooky riffs that quickly stick with you and endear you to the songs beyond just being heavy and aggressive. There's also songs like Defy the Tyrant and Narcotic, which served as precursors to the increase of grindcore elements in the band's sound that were found in heavy doses on their previous album Samsara. As for the new tracks on this album, the band pushes their sound in new directions once again. Defiant to the Will of God opens with a commanding and groovy death metal riff, before going into a driving and dynamic death grind section for the song's middle. But near the song's end, the band explores atmospheric melody complete with trance-like melodic vocals. Slayer of Holoferns blends the band's established death grind sound with melody once more, featuring a legit chorus in it. The chorus sounds like something you would hear in a melodic death metal song, with pit screaming and black metal-esque atmosphere with tremolo picking from the guitars and it serves as an exciting taste of where the band could go musically in the future. Primeval serves as a way to familiarize the band's new and ever-growing fanbase with their older material, while also showing where the band could go in the future on their next fully new release. Venom Prison are sounding ambitious, and look to keep experimenting with their sound to make a legacy that's uniquely theirs. The band is sounding well worth the hype that is surrounding them, and continue to be a bright new face in the extreme metal world. Venom Prison's Primeval gets a 4 out of 5, and will definitely stand as a favorite death metal release by the end of 2020 once again from the band. What did you think of the album? How does Primeval stack up to other death metal releases that have been released throughout the year 2020? Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the Heavy Haystack if you want to see more videos similar to this one. Peace, love, music, and I'll see y'all next time.